guys. Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Hey there. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, how I mix my paint for a, an uh, acrylic pour. As you may have already seen in an earlier video of mine, um, the products I use are Floetrol and typically I use an Artist's Loft acrylic paint. This is a Flow acrylic, Artist's Loft Flow acrylics. And I simply, I simply take, I've got a 16 ounce cup here. Always shake up anything that's in a bottle. So I like to create some bubbles in my, in my mix. And you'll see that I have a, an old set of nylon wrapped around the opening of this um, Floetrol bottle to stop anything from coming out that I don't want to come out. And again, this is a 16 ounce cup. So I'm going to fill this about 75% full, I'd say. And I find that the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic paint versus Artist Loft just acrylics, not the Flow version, the Flow tends to be a little bit more uh, liquid, hence the word Flow in the, in the title. Again, I'm shaking this bottle before I dump it in. I'm going to dump in, I like to say that I do about 80 to 20. I don't use any water. I don't use any silicone or glue or anything like that in my mixes. Some people do, I know. But for me, I use about 80% Floetrol and about 20% paint. So I'm gonna fill this up. Not quite full because I think I was, I wasn't really at 80% when I filled it with Floetrol. So there, I'll show you what I have. It's kind of hard to see the paint is, is in there. The next thing, of course, just take a stir stick and start stirring. So um, a lot of people will use uh, an analogy for the consistency that you're after, and that is warm honey is what you'll hear sometimes. And I don't know that I've seen warm honey firsthand, but <laughs> I've seen honey and maybe not cold honey, I don't know. You don't want it too runny, meaning you don't want it watery. I can tell already that this is way too thin. You can see that it's just coming right off of the, off of the stick. It's not even flowing, it's just dripping right off of the stick. So I've got this far too runny. I think I have, the witch tells me I have got too much Floetrol in there. So I'm going to add some paint. Thicken this guy up, and again, this is a the Flow acrylic version of Artist Loft paints, and those are a little bit more liquidy. So I would say probably for that, when you're using that, um, the Flow acrylics, may, maybe don't go 80/20 with your Flow trawl to paint. A little more like 75/25. This is looking a little better. This is still pretty thin. I'm just gonna pour it on this plastic canvas so you can see how it comes off. That's pretty thin, but I think that's good. I think that's doable. So yeah, this is this is all I wanted to show you real quick is just how I mix my paints. Nothing really, tr really, uh, not much of a trick to it. I know some people get very, very concerned about measuring and um, exactness, but I, my feel is that it varies so widely from paint brand to paint brand. So I also use sometimes a deco art paint, which is a, which is a thicker paint than, than say these, uh, the flow acrylics, artist's flop flow acrylics. So <clears throat> I might need a little bit more flow trawl for that. So I just tend not to measure. And quite frankly, it's been trial and error for me and it still is some days, I'll be honest. So um, I just kind of have to go, each time I mix up a new batch of paint, I just kind of have to look and see how it's dripping off of my off of my stick. I still feel like this might be a little bit too thin. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab another cup, because that cup's too full. I can't add much more paint and be able to stir it. 
so I'm going to dump a little bit of it in here. Maybe we'll do a half and half. And then I can, that way I can add a little bit more paint to this, both of these cups and thicken this up a tad because I really would like you to see a better example of, <clears throat> excuse me, of the thickness that, that seems to work well for me. Yeah, that's getting better. See, now it's not running off of the stir stick. The dripping kind of in globs. And here, let's just look at that one that, this is the one that I had started with before. You can see it's just running off. So this is too thin. This one, just right, in my opinion. It's coming off but not, and actually you can see it's thicker. The drips are thicker compared to this guy. Almost looks like water running off. So yeah, so I'm going to stick with my 80-20 because generally speaking, that's about where, <clears throat> where I land with my um, ratios. But you absolutely always have to kind of eyeball it depending on the brand of paint you're using. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, if you have any tips that you might want to throw out there <clears throat> on how you mix your paints, please leave them in the comments below and we'll talk through them and hopefully we can all learn together. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Take care. Thanks for watching.